I just can't believe it. It's it's Miss Kelly again, and she's all dressed up. Dad, you talking in your sleep again? Please, please. All the marbles are working. Oh, look at this lady. Mm, incredible. She must be getting ready for Pomahawk Day. She's got a big basket of squash. Dad. And look at this incredible bright green lipstick. Oh, Ben. Better go to the door. She's coming around. Ben, Ben. ben. Don't, don't do it. There's nobody out there. I'll get it myself. What if Miss Kelly really is back there? <laughs> I'll eat your homework. Okay, but it's three pages. Well, I'm pretty hungry. <laughs> huh? Take a look. Bad spelling. I love the way bacon fills a house, how the smell wanders through it like long fingers reaching and grabbing and pulling you towards the oven. Mmm, boy, that aroma. Mmm, the smell of sweet women. <laughs> and sweet cookies. Mm -hmm. Yeah, try this. Oh, yes, thank you, my child. <laughs> He'll bite his head off. <laughs> what do you think, Gunny? Good? Bad? Horrible? Are they too sugary? You probably can't even taste it. It's still too hot. Elaine, wait till they cool. Someone could burn a tongue. You feel better now, Carol? Mm -hmm. You got it all out of your system. Uh, <laughs> what's this? Oh, oh this, this looks good. It's a butternut squash cookie. Oh. <laughs> I'm allergic. <laughs> what is the significance of squash on Pomahawk Day? What, are you serious? Huh? Where, where did you grow up? Oh, oh. I love that Pomahawk Day doesn't make any sense. It's just tradition and we get to have a dance. It's nifty. I love dancing. Are you going with Dwight? I don't know. He hasn't asked me. You know, it's strange how some traditions evolve into completely weird behavior, like why does a fat man try to get down a chimney in the dead of winter to put things in socks? That's true. In Japan, we have everybody's wish come true day. We decorate bamboo tree with paper wishes. And then after three weeks, we burn the tree. <laughs> really? We also have eye day, too. What do you do on eye day? Clean your cornea? <laughs> so, did you ask Cosmo to the Pomahack Day dance yet? Oh, I don't know. I, I, I'm not gonna ask anyone. It's a dance. Why not take a date? Because I'm the principal. She's a teacher. It's just not good. Believe me, Dwight, no one cares as much about you being principal as you do. I do. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. I don't understand something. If a girl already knows you're gonna ask her out, what's the point of asking her out? It's the romantic tension, Charlie. 
Come on, you're in fourth grade. Actually, it's similar to any number of mating rituals. The subjects dance around each other until their intentions match up. It's important that the dance continue until there are no discrepancies in either subject's expectations. I want him out of here. I'm losing her, Robbie. Debbie Kessler's gonna dump me for Mike Duvik. Duvik's rich. Duvik's not rich. His father's rich. Duvik's got the same job that we do. He's in seventh grade. And besides, Debbie can't dump you until you've gone out with her at least once. You're right. I need you to do something to let her know how I feel. You know, sometimes talking on the phone is good. You should call her. I did. I called her last night. What'd you say? Nothing. I hung up. You're still hanging up on her. Yeah, but now at least she knows it's me. I mean, that's how I let her know I'm thinking of her. If I were you, Rigo, I'd come up with something a little more romantic. Oh, love is torture, man. I don't eat, I don't study, I can't concentrate in class. All I think about is Debbie. Debbie, Debbie, Debbie. I mean, can you believe I flunked a Spanish quiz this week? <laughs> Me? You should have heard my old man. ¿Qué crees que estás haciendo? Ya ni el español sabes. Te creía más inteligente. Oh, man. <laughs> Hey, Rigo. Huh? Level? Looks good, Mr. D. Uh, gracias. Borean Army. Yeah, yeah. It looks great, Mr. Davis. I'm so glad they made you principal. The whole girls' soccer team thinks so, too. Well, you girls obviously have brains as well as brawn. <laughs> Thank you, Alice, for uh, helping us out this morning. <clears throat> oh, boy, it's almost 8 o'clock. Hey, we got to get this stuff cleaned up here. I've got it, Mr. Davis. Thank you. Here. Oh, I've got it, Mr. Davis. Oh, Palma Hack Day, Palma Hack Day. Everyone's happy on Palma Hack Day. Yeah. Whoa, nice decorations, Rigo. Thanks. You want us to help? Well, I'm almost done. Well, what is it, Easter or something? Yeah, it's Easter. Well, if it's Easter, where's your bunny suit, Rigo? It's at the cleaners. <laughs> Cut it out. Go what out? What's going on, Duvik? Oh, nothing. We're just helping out Rigo. Right, Rigo? Four against one. You're pretty brave. Oh, yeah, Davis? How about you and me go one-on-one? -on -one? I don't like fighting. Yeah. Only because I usually lose. Uh-huh. <laughs> Come on, Robbie, let's go. Hey, Rigo. <laughs> You're unglued, dude. <laughs> I have a growth spurt this summer. <laughs> They do. They just can't tell you unless it's Palma Hat Day. But today is a Palma Hat Day, so you can tell me, right? Sorry, you're not wearing yellow. <laughs> Mr. Davis, where have you been? Oh, sorry. Can't answer that. <laughs> You're not wearing yellow. Nobody told me that. They can't. It's part of the tradition. I'm ready to get back on the plane. <laughs> Hi, Alice. Come on in. <clears throat> What's so funny? Did I miss something? No. I'm just being, you know. Oh, come on now, Alice. You don't have to you know with me. Here, sit down there. Talk to me. Uh, what's up, huh? It's uh, Palma Hack Day. Make a request. Uh, anything you want. OK. Will you go to the dance with me tonight? <laughs> uh, I'm a... Uh, I, I, I'm, I, I'm the principal, Alice. <laughs> I know. Oh, well, I have to chaperone tonight. I, I don't think it'd be very much fun for you. Yes, it would. Just being with you and talking with you is so nice, Mr. Davis. 
That's uh, very sweet of you to say. Uh, I'm very flattered. But it's Pomahack Day. You can't turn me down or the roots of all your trees will die. <laughs> well, um, <clears throat> should I pick you up or do you want to meet me here? I'll have my dad drop me off here. Thanks, Mr. Davis. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Oh, I hate Pomahack Day. I'm gonna buy her a cookie. Rigo, any girl who spends five minutes with Mike Duvick isn't worth it. I wrote her a poem. You can mail it to her. Come on, let's go get a stamp. What are you doing? Love makes a man strong. <laughs> Hi, Debbie. Hi, Rigo. I wrote something for you. Rigo, another time would be better. Hey, Rigo, what you got? The stars pour out their ancient fire, and seas are overflowing. My heart rides on the waves of desire. <laughs> Give me the poem, I see your eyes in the light of the stars. <laughs> I hate you, Duvick. Oh, do you? We're fighting. I was sticking up for a friend. Duvig didn't hit Rigo. Right, he just humiliated him. Well, so? You're smart, Rob. You humiliated him back. I did. You should have seen it. You couldn't have been showing off for Debbie Kessler. Hmm? Just a hunch, Rob. You can never prove that. <laughs> well, fighting is stupid, for whatever reason. You're still suspended for two days, Rocky. What about the dance? Well, if you want to shake hands with Mike Duvick, suspension can start tomorrow, after the dance. Fair enough. A scram. I'm convinced that no matter what you say, at least a part of you is proud that I cremated Mike Duvick. You can never prove that. <laughs> hey, Rob, is this the first fight you've gotten into? It's the first fight I've won. <laughs> But you threw him all the way across the cafeteria. You should have smashed his head into something, like Dirty Harry did to Hal Holbrook. And Hal Holbrook has never been the same since. <laughs> Dad suspended me for two days. Wonderful, what a break. Two whole days? Boy, in my time, mm -mm -mm. <laughs> Listen, did you give any thought to maybe taking on my fishing class? <laughs> oh, yeah. We'll go out there to Lake Oaks, chop out Jehojiba. It's a long Indian name. I never got it right. It's just a lake. But there's some good fishing in it. We'll wait till he cuts out. You understand? Then you and I go out. Right? Sounds good to me, Grandpa. It's gonna be great. We're gonna have some fun. Oh, let's, let me get that. That's probably, uh, I bet you anything, it's Cosmo. She never dreamed of using the telephone. Okay, Cosmo, come in, sweetheart. Why, Miss Nesky, how are you? Ah, oh, Gunny. <laughs> you call me Ray. Okay, I guess I can call you Ray. <laughs> Gosh, you've been delivering letters up to here, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, I just, uh, I suppose you're, uh, you're over here because of those little brown packets that have been coming over here kind of regularly. And those little brown packets are seeds for my garden. And uh, I've got a fairly good-sized garden out back. Would you like to see it? That's where I put my seeds. <laughs> How about showing me pictures tonight over dinner? What? Now, it's Pomahack Day, so you can't refuse. <laughs> um, he has to help chaperone the dance tonight over at school. Well, I understand. I, I just thought I'd give it a shot. <laughs> oh, no, wait a minute, wait a minute. Don't go away. I want you to come to the dance. Oh, I love dancing. I mean, we'll have a ball. What time you want me to pick you up? Well, I'm almost ready now. <laughs> you just drop by any time and I'll be ready. You're such a nice man, Gunny. Thank you, thank you, Ray. Nice lady. You know something, I'm gonna tell you something. There's something about a woman in uniform. <laughs> a 
partner is something about a woman out of uniform. <laughs> Cosmo, <clears throat> come on now, don't don't be mad. Uh, you, I don't want to go with Alice. You, you know you're my special girl. <laughs> I mean, but what was I supposed to do? Break her heart? Huh? She's she's got this huge crush on me. I'm gonna flunk her. The next time I get her in a class, I'm gonna flunk her. Well, I'm gonna just take her to the dance, give her a little something to write in her diary, give her a positive male role model, and then let her down easy. You gotta let him down easy. I mean, that's what I plan to do with you, eventually. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> you know, there's something to be said for pure adoration. She told me that the entire girls' soccer team was really glad that uh, I'm principal. Oh, I understand. There are these three boys in my fourth period who think Carl Sagan named the universe after me. <laughs> really? <laughs> what boys? Oh, I'll tell you later. At the dance. Oh, so you're going. I have someone special in mind to take me. Shouldn't you be getting ready, Mr. Davis? Oh. A man never knows what he has until he loses it. My uncle once told me that at the racetrack. Rigo, you didn't lose anything. Debbie still likes you. Everyone saw her run out of the cafeteria after you. Girls run after me like that all the time. This is different, Ben. So what'd she say when she caught you? You think she caught me? Don't you think I can outrun a girl? Let me tell you guys something. You don't outrun any woman. You understand? <laughs> if they're in high heels or flats or sneakers or boots, they always uh, allow you to catch them and then they cold cock you. Sports. Get out of here. Yeah, you guys get lost. Hut! Hut! Look, Rob. I'm sorry I got you in trouble. I'm gonna ask your dad to let me do your time for you. Are you kidding? This fight has done wonders for my image. People fear me. Especially the smaller kids. <laughs> Maybe you should just talk to Debbie at the dance tonight. I'm not going to that dance. I'm not gonna show my face in that school till my beard grows in. Rigo, Duvik's the one who looks stupid, not you. If you don't show up tonight, you will look bad. Especially if Duvik shows and you don't. Oh, I don't want to think about that. Well, what do you think you should do, Grandpa? I think it's very simple. The only way you're gonna impress these chicks is stand up like gladiators. <laughs> Pretend that you're an early Roman. Okay? That you're a cast off. You got religious problems. <laughs> Stand up there, your hands on your hips. Not too effeminate. Just enough that. So the lion doesn't eat you. Get it? Okay, stand up. And you do this. Now, we'll, we'll say that the ladies are in C section. <laughs> Talking about the Colosseum in Rome, you know? Yes. You do this. Let the games begin. Okay? Let, Let the, the games, games begin. begin. And let's just hope they begin. <laughs> Boy, I tell you, Mrs. Dabler made those little finger sandwiches. Yeah, and one of her fingers is in there. <laughs> no, I was kidding. It's my humor. You are so cute. You know, Gunny, when I'm with you, I just feel something I can't explain. I'll help you. <laughs> Watch those hands, big guy. <laughs> I couldn't say no. <clears throat> hey, Rob. Happy Palma Hack Day. Happy Palma Hack Day, Dad. Hi, Robbie. Hi. Very cool what you did in the cafeteria today. Well, I just did what I had to do. Duvik. Come on, it's Palma Hack Day. You know, you're so much like your father. Could you maybe find some other way to compliment me? I promise.
probably can. Do you want to dance? Sure. Listen, Debbie, I need to talk to you. Why does everybody think that I like Duvik? I don't know. Because I don't. I like you. You heard of it? No, I'm telling you that. Oh. So are you going to take me to this dance or not? Hey, if you want to go that bad, I'll take you. All you have to do is ask. I love another one of your poems. I'll think about it. <laughs> You're looking very squashy tonight, Miss Jurgen. You look pretty squashy yourself. What do you say? You want to uh, do the holly gully? No way. How about something um, a little more modern? I'd love to, Mr. Davis. To the sea, the sea of love. was just using you to get to me. Well, that, that's okay. Cosmo and I, we had a pretty good time. And Dad, <laughs> you and Miss Nitsky really tore up that dance floor. Well, let's say that she tore it up pretty good. 216 feet. But she'll walk again. Her knees are really sore. Uh, I imagine she's pretty painful, but I'm, I'm sure somebody can fix those up, don't you? Yeah, a good carpenter can patch that up in one day. A good carpenter? What are you talking about? A man with a saw, a hammer, and some nails? Fix up a male woman? That's wrong. I'm sorry you heard that, Robbie. Your dad is weird. I had some... 